welcome to the object oriented programming in python and in this episode we are going to talk about the encapsulation in python how we can do this and what are the benefit of these things let's see so let's start this video with creating a simple class so class of payment so this is a very easy class and i'm going to define it in it and this is just going to get the price and it will just define a self dot final price and this final price is price plus price multiply by 0 0.05 just for you can say point um, you can say five percent tax so this is good and i will buy a book and for this i need to pay so payment and that has to be payment okay yeah so payment and the price is let's say ten dollar this is very easy so i will say print and printing book dot final price and refresh 10.5.5 is just the tax so we are getting the final price so this is good it's not looking bad code but what if someone do this book dot final price is equal to zero run it and what is this our final price is just becoming zero we don't want ever to do this kind of things in a big project we don't want to do this so how we can restrict the user to do these kind of things so the problem here is this final price variable or the final price attribute is actually public anyone can see it anyone can change it no matter whatever you want to do just do it because it's a public one we need to make this as a private variable so how we can create a private variable you just need to say a single underscore but the single underscore just giving you the definition that hey this is a private method you should not change it but what if i can change it so i say underscore and underscore final price and yeah again it's zero and if i am not going to change it yes it is 10.5 so what's the benefit of using underscore here and making it a private it's not looking like private yes one sing single underscore makes a variable uh private but it just a it just like a warning that this is a private but if you want to hardly say that this is a private no one going to change it you need to use double underscore and now with the double underscore let's try to check this so with the double underscore if i try to get <laughs> you can see no one can access it so it says actually payment object no has no attribute called final price because this final price is a whole private method to just this class not for the object but we want the price we want to know what is the price how we can get that if we are we can't access the final price okay so for that you need to define a getter getter is just going to get final price so i will say get final price and this is a function i have defined or you can call it method and it's just going to return self dot final price and now you can see because we are still on the class we can access this final price variable and with this method we have returned that so now i can say get final price and run it and yes you can see 10.5 is there and even no one can change it because if we try to change it it doesn't affect because this is a private method we have just created a wrapper to get the final price so this is the way we can ensure that no one can change the value of this final price variable this is good that no one can change it but suppose you have given a coupon so on the final price you need to change something and if we have a coupon then we need to change so now we need to give new method we call it setter or set final price so again this is going to get return 
of self dot final price and now it's going to multiply with the uh, coupon so let's say or we can simply say discount and divided by 100 so discount divided by 100 just making the percentage into a real value so let's grab the discount from here and now if we want to give any discount so book dot uh, we can say set final price and giving the discount of 10 percent so let's see the final price is going to be 10.5 still okay we are not getting that you know why because i need to say here self dot underscore final price is equal to this and i'm not going to return anything so now if i try to run yes you can see 1.05 we have given this much of discount which is not good we need to say here self dot final price minus all these things so now if we say 10% discount after the 10% discount 9.45 is there so in that way you can change the variable inside the class but you cannot directly change the variable so this is the way python give you private variable in some other languages there are protected but python doesn't have python is very cool it says yeah either it has to be global or public or it's a private nothing else now comes the private methods so these methods set final price get final price are public everyone can use it but now we can define a private function or private method which is again using the double underscore and i will say uh, calculate uh, discount and we are going to get discount here and actually that has to be calculate and now it's going to return all these things so let's grab from here paste it here and we don't want this parenthesis so self dot price and discount and here i will say self dot and self dot underscore calculate discount and just pass the discount okay so again if i run it it is still going to work and no one can use this uh, function so if i try to use this function just after or just before set uh, set final price so book dot underscore underscore calculate and i'm giving discount of 50 percent let's see the result it's going to crash because it says payment object has no attribute called underscore underscore calculate discount so this is the way you can have the encapsulation that means encapsulating making things private or public on the encapsulation this is very nice and if you like this episode please share these videos with your developer friends don't forget to subscribe and like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then Goodbye.